Earlier this week, we saw some disturbing images of what Taiwan may look like underwater. That's right. It was a simulation by Greenpeace, which is warning that some two million people in Taiwan, or nearly 10 percent of the population, could be displaced by rising sea levels by the year 2050. If something isn't done about global carbon emissions, over 2,000 square kilometers of land in Taiwan will become flood risks by 2050. That's the latest from a report conducted by environmental NGO Greenpeace. Carbon emissions are responsible for global warming, which cause ice sheets to melt into the ocean, in turn prompting sea levels to rise. Taiwan will become more susceptible to storm surges brought on by typhoons because of rising sea levels. Greenpeace says that currently global sea levels are rising by about 1.9 millimeters a year. If trends continue, then sea levels in Taiwan will rise by 0.56 meters by 2050. Under that circumstance, sea levels may rise by as much as 1.62 meters during storm surges. This would negatively impact densely populated areas. The rise in sea levels poses a safety threat to people living in all six of Taiwan's major municipalities. 750,000 inhabitants in New Taipei City alone would be affected. Greenpeace is calling on all local governments to evaluate how climate change will affect their areas and make adjustments as needed. It says that climate change is already a huge threat, and immediate response is necessary. Joining us with more details is Catherine Wei. Hey, Catherine. Hi. Now you looked at、uh, some of the specific places that could be affected by rising sea levels, and some of those places were in southern Taiwan.、Mm-hmm. We saw some historical sites in Tainan on the list, also an arts、uh, center in Gaoshong, but some of the places were also right here in our backyard. Yes, and it may be hard to believe, but the presidential office and the Songshan International Airport might be underwater in 30 years' time. Well, that's hard to imagine. So,、um, what is Greenpeace saying about how Taiwan is dealing with this problem?、Uh, Greenpeace is saying Taiwan is not doing that great of a job, and it's not just Greenpeace who's saying this. Taiwan has been ranked at the bottom in a few climate change rankings, including the Climate Change Performance Index, which uses data from the UN. We ranked third to last in 2019. But the government says that these organizations are using old or incorrect data. Taiwan hasn't been able to correct them because it is not a member of major global organizations like the UN. So that means that Taiwan is also not part of the international climate change discussion, and it's also、mm. not getting any international funding for green energy projects. What about Taiwan's energy profile? So Taiwan is working to phase out nuclear power. Which means we rely more heavily on coal, which causes more greenhouse gases. But Taiwan is creating more solar energy. In fact, in the summer months of the past three years, it's generated more energy than two of the country's nuclear power plants put together. Wow! Environmental groups also have some other suggestions. They say Taiwan cities should completely switch to electric public transportation, and impose an energy tax or carbon emission tax. Making those who pollute pay the price.、Mm. So, what do you think about all this, Kat? I think it's reasonable. I think people who are wrecking the earth should pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> so they should make more people pay for it, and、mm. more companies, right? That's true. Well, this is、uh, an issue, of course, that affects the whole world, not just Taiwan,、yeah. uh, and also the whole world can have an impact on, you know, cutting down on carbon emissions.、Right. So, well, thank you for that, and that's this week's Taiwan Explained.